Aloha mai! Welcome to Aloha Authentic with Kamakopi Raw. We'll be here with Miss Pokemon of Nui Apo for a little brunch. So we just wanted to give a little preview and a teaser for what may come in the future. Mahalo. Have you tried like seeing other kinds of genres? Oh yeah, I used to sing reggae in high school. Are you serious? Yeah, I won't tell anybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh we gotta watch this. Mm -hmm. to you know, My solo was um, It's Not Easy by Lucky Dubé. Bro, I like that song. <laughs> that was my solo for the band. Play keyboard. Oh, you was in a reggae band. It's called Local Rush. Shut up. <laughs> On Maui. So, no, he'll be oh, here. Yeah. In fact, the night. <laughs> oh, that's right. You went first. How does the drama feel about that? He's like, go do whatever you want. Music's music. Reggae music was not allowed in the house, though. Oh. Only Hawaiian music. Church music in Hawaiian music. Not growing up, was there something awkward between cruising with old folks or being raised by old folks and then well, everybody else being raised by their parents? I tell you what, I think I got more lickings than anybody else. Because, <laughs> you know, old you're, people. You had your yeah. meow. Old people, they know, you know, screw around. My tattoo says infamous for the meow. You stand in the corner and you get whipped by the knee out at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> we never had knee out. We never had knee out. We had rubber skates, back scratches. Knee out, if you don't know, I forgot the camera's rolling. <laughs> is the bone of the coconut knee. That's sure you get individually. So you debone the middle and you it's let them so dry and you put them together and it becomes one weapon of mass destruction uh -huh. if you're at the wrong place or say the wrong thing. <laughs> but you know what's worse? If you take one individual one and whip that rather than a whole stick, you can get well. Thank you to Tutu. But people know you for how you talk on the mic. Yeah. Where did that come from? <laughs> you know, it's. It's called being witty, so you don't get walked over. That's a good way to put it. Right? So who did? Where did you? How did you? Is that something that just came natural? Did you? I know somebody who did oh, that in the past. No, it's a, you know, my papa had this thing. It's called the gift of gab. Yeah, we talk to anybody and everybody, and you can pull something out of the air, and you can expound on it for like ten minutes. You know, so like my papa used to do that. My aunties all did that. My mama not too much, she was a very per private person, yeah, but on my papa's side, anybody talk to each other. My grandfather used to drive us nuts, we would go to stores and stuff, and we'd, he'd make a new friend, and next thing you know, we gotta make dinner, because his new friend is coming over. Because he knew, because he knew his, um, his sister's co-worker's ex-husband's <laughs> second cousin or something like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> sure. Mahalo Nui for paying attention today. Uh, we're going to have Pokemon number Nui Apo come back later on. Hopefully we can get her in the studio. But for now, it's just a rough with it. So stay tuned to see what else it comes up. And don't worry, next time I'll bring the ball boy along.